Hi friends, this is uh, an old tube amplifier I've been working on. It was made in uh, 1964 by McMartin Electri Electronics for uh, Muzak. Under the Muzak name they built amplifiers and this one is using two 6v6s for the outputs. I, I've been uh, just kind of going through it, changing capacitors and put on a different filter capacitor here, a new one, and matched up the output tubes and so forth. Just the regular things you do to a tube amp. And I have it here, it's connected to uh, one of my 16-inch uh, Pioneer woofers. And we're going to try an experiment here. And I'm going to connect it to the computer. And we're going to try to play this song here, and hopefully I won't get in trouble because it's a song that's a YouTube song. But we'll see what happens here when I click on it. I don't know how this is going. Oop, <laughs> I can't get it. There we go. It gets funny loud. Um, it's kind of got a little digital rasp to it, but that's typical for digital music. But I just thought I would connect it to the laptop because when they built that back in 1964, they had no idea we'd be able to have the technology we do today. Um, well, except maybe if you were Gene Roddenberry with Star Trek or something. <laughs> and I've got a couple more amplifiers around here. I don't know, maybe 10 different ones. And this is one of the small ones. And I've got this guy over here. That's going to be one of my projects. I've just got to get it. I want to go through it and make sure everything's okay. Um, I'll do this one first. I got four of these. And they use four 6L6 outputs. And they're made by Western Electric back in the early 50s. And they're quite a powerful amplifier for their time period. So hopefully I'll get to that and uh, see how that works but anyway I just kind of have to see how this music sounds I suppose it sounds terrible over the uh, speaker <laughs> over the camera I mean I don't know I can't get my thoughts together here today so I'm going to play this back and see what it looks like